Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe my channel if you do not want to miss a single lecture of this series. Today we will discuss about phase contrast microscopy. I hope you went through the first video of my microscopy lecture series that is the basic properties of light. If not, please go through the video before going through phase contrast microscopy. I am providing the link below. Because you need to know about interference first before starting phase contrast microscopy. However, I am describing it briefly here. Interference is a phenomena in which two waves combine to form a resultant wave of greater, lower or same amplitude. So, relationship between two waves with each other is called phase. When both the waves are at the highest peak, they are called in phase. Here, two waves act together and create constructive interference, resulting in a wave of greater amplitude. So, here we can see this wave is at its highest peak. Okay. And this wave is also at its highest peak. If we add them together, resulting wave will have a much bigger amplitude. This is the resultant wave that is having much bigger amplitude. When, when uh, one wave is at its highest peak and the other one is at the lowest, we can say them out of phase. In that case, two waves cancel each other out and create destructive interference, resulting in a wave of lower amplitude. So here we can see this wave is at its highest peak. Okay, and this wave has the lowest peak, right? If we add them together, they will cancel each other out and the resulting wave will have a much lower amplitude. So, this is the resulting wave that has much lower amplitude. Now, one thing should be clear that when destructive interference predominates, samples appear dark against a bright background. So, please remember this stuff till the end of this video. That when destructive interference like this interference predominates, samples appear dark against a bright background. This is very important point to remember. Right? So, we have already talked about bright field and dark field microscopy in our previous videos and we found that a simple modification is done in the dark field microscope as compared to bright field microscope. An opaque disc is attached in between light source, light source and condenser lens, right? So, this is the extra part. Now, in phase contrast microscope, two simple modifications have been done, okay? The annular diaphragm, the annular diaphragm is placed in place of the opaque disc, right? Actually, annular diaphragm is almost the same thing like opaque disc with a little bit modification. Okay. Now, in phase contrast microscope, the major modification is a phase plate is placed between objective and ocular lens. This is very important thing in phase contrast microscope. This is the phase plate that is attached here extra. The light path of phase contrast microscope consists of the light source, annular diaphragm, condenser lens, 
specimen stage objective lens face plate and ocular lens right the annular diaphragm that one blocks most of the light from the illuminator so these lights are getting blocked as an opaque disc does in dark field microscope so in dark field microscope the opaque disc does the same thing right hence it produces a hollow cone of light so it is producing a hollow cone of light this thing right and that light is focused on specimen before reaching the objective lens so the hollow cone of light is getting focused on the specimen right this thing before reaching the objective lens now light traveling directly from the illuminator from the illuminator that is the surrounding wave passes through the one part of the face plate right whereas light reflected refracted or scattered by the specimen passes through another part of the face plate so two types of lights are coming here one is the surrounding wave okay so surrounding wave is this thing that is undiffracted light right so this undiffracted light that is the surrounding wave that is passing through one part of the face plate right whereas the light reflected refracted or scattered by the specimen so here specimen is present so this thing that diffracted light that is getting through the specimen that passes through another part of the face plate right this causes surrounding wave to be out of phase with that of the diffracted wave right so the surrounding wave that is not going through the sample that is the out of phase and this is the diffracted light diffracted by the sample so this wave and the surrounding wave they are producing out of phase it results in destructive interference that ultimately brings contrast where sample appears dark against a bright background so this thing that is the out of phase thing it results in destructive interference that ultimately brings contrast where sample appears dark against a bright background generally structures that differ in diffractive index will differ in levels of darkness so the cellular structures that differ in refractive index will differ in levels of darkness so you will find the different cellular organelles as differently light or dark okay so you will not get everything same suppose nucleus is darker and some other organelles are lighter like this now remember one thing in this case as most of the lights are blocked most of the lights are blocked right background will not appear as bright as bright field microscope right again as surrounding lights are also captured by objective lens so some surrounding lights are getting absorbed by objective lens background will not appear dark as dark field microscope so in case of dark field microscope we have seen that surrounding lights are not captured by objective lens but in this case 
some of the surrounding lights are captured by objective lens that's why background will not appear so dark as dark field microscope so a fantastic bright and dark contrast will be formed here very interesting right so the advantages of using phase contrast microscope is that the capacity to observe living cells so you can observe your living cells specimens that need not to be killed fixed or stained to view under a microscope so that's a cool thing and high contrast high resolution images will be formed here right the limitation of using this microscope is this microscope is not ideal for thick organisms okay so this is an image of a cell line observed under phase contrast microscope right hope you understood the concept if you liked my lesson please do like comment and share my video thank you